an Olympic gymnast stared down a pedo team doctor who abused her as a young athlete in an empowering courtroom statement. Six-time Olympic medalist Ailey Raisman, 23, branded sex fiend Larry Nasser pathetic as she delivered a remarkable victim impact statement in Michigan, U.S. Nasser, 54, tricked Raisman into believing his inappropriate touching would heal her pain and repeatedly used his position of power to abuse her. The disgraced doctor faces life in prison after admitting 10 counts molesting young girls. The court heard more than 140 women and girls have said Lasser abused them. Raceman said, I'm here to face you, Larry, so you can see I've regained my strength. That I am no longer a victim. I am a survivor. I didn't think I would be here today. I was scared and nervous. It wasn't until I listened to the other brave survivors that I realized I needed to be here. You never healed me. Why oh you took advantage of our passions and our dreams. Imagine feeling like you have no power and no voice. Well, you know what, Larry, I have my power and my voice, and I will use them. The tables have turned, Larry. We are here. We have our voices, and we are not going anywhere. And now, Larry, it's your turn to listen to me. You are pathetic to think that anyone would have any sympathy for you. Why you think this is hard for you? Imagine how all of us feel. Imagine how it feels to be an innocent teenager in a foreign country hearing a knock on the door and it's you. I don't want you to be there, but I don't have a choice. Raceman is one of four members of the Fierce 5 2012 Olympics squad to accuse Lasser. Jordan Weber, Gabby Douglas and Michaela Marini have also come forward to speak of their abuse at the hands of the doctor. Olympic champion Weber also delivered a statement to the sex offender. She said, I thought that training for the Olympics would be the hardest thing that I would ever have to do. But, in fact, the hardest thing I ever had to do is process that I am a victim of Larry Nasser. Nasser's sentencing looks set to continue into next week as victims continue to come forward. He already faces 60 years behind bars after pleading guilty to child pornography charges.